In this video, we're going to look at calculating elasticity from regression results with different functional forms. So some background. What is elasticity? It's a percentage change in one variable, say y, divided by the percentage change in another variable. Let's call that x. Using calculus notation, the percentage change in y is represented by this. dy here is just a change in y divided by y dx is just change in x divided by x. If we were to multiply the denominator and numerator by the reciprocal, or x divided by dx, you have the classic formula for elasticity. So example one, we have a, just a regular linear regression. Dependent variable is y, independent variable x. So we want to calculate the elasticity from this estimated regression. A and B are coefficients. A is the constant. Uh, B is the uh, slope coefficient on X. So first thing we do uh, to build this elasticity, we're going to get dy uh, divided by dx, just a derivative of the um, equation with respect to good uh, respect to X. It's just B. Next, we're going to multiply both sides by x divided by y. That'll put us into this elasticity format. So doing that, uh, we have the estimated elasticity of y with respect to variable x. And in a regression context, it's common to use the mean values in your data set for x and y. You could choose any values, but it's common to use the, the mean values for x and y to evaluate this elasticity. So here is a numerical example. We estimate a linear regression. Q is coin demanded. P is the price. We just saw in the last screen, based on this functional form, the elasticity will be the coefficient multiplied by variable x divided by variable y. In this case, uh, variable x is the price, and variable y, the dependent variable, is Q. So what is B? It's minus 4. And once again, we can just evaluate the P and Q terms at their mean values. Here's a different, different functional form, a, a double log form. The dependent variable is the natural logs. The independent variable is also a natural logs. We wanted to solve for the elasticity. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the, I'm going to just total differentiate this equation. Uh, the derivative of the natural log of y is just 1 over y. And we're taking the total differential, so have dy here. And the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x, but that's being multiplied by b, so the b is in the numerator. And again, it's a total differential, so we're going to multiply that through by the change in x or dx. Let's divide everything through now by dx. So doing that, our left-hand side now looks like this. And now we want to multiply everything through by x. And if we do that, you'll notice the left-hand side is our typical elasticity expression. And given this functional form, the elasticity will just equal b. So applying that to some numerical results, we have a double log functional form estimating a demand equation based on what we saw. The elasticity of demand here um, is just going to be minus 2.55. Moving on to our last functional form, example 3, uh, a semi-log form where the dependent variables are natural logs, but that's it. So once again, uh, let's take the total differential of this equation. So 1 over y times a change in y equals the derivative of bx is just b multiplied by the change in x. Let's divide everything through by the change in x or dx. So doing that, we're left with this result. Now let's multiply everything through by y. So the derivative of y with respect to x, given this functional form, is just b times y. Now let's put it in elasticity format by multiplying both sides by x divided by y. 
So you'll notice the left hand side is now in our standard elasticity format. And again, we multiplied both sides through by x divided by y. So that's uh, x divided by y here. Notice the y's cancel, and you're left just with b times x. So that's the elasticity given this functional form. It's just the coefficient b times x. And here, once again, we can use the mean value for x to evaluate this elasticity. So a numerical example. Here are the semi-log estimated demand equation looks like this. Using our result from the last slide, we've got the parameter b down in front, and that's just going to be multiplied by uh, the independent variable, which is p. And we can evaluate p at its mean value, or any other value if we choose. So I hope you found this video helpful.